Okay, everyone, on today's episode of New Does Not Mean Right. So first off, I want to state, I like Melling products. I'm doing a lifter replacement on a 6.2 L92 and an, and an Escalade, and I normally use the Melling lifters, the JB2079. But when I got some from the parts store, I noticed something. So do you see how the depth of that push rod cup now, this is the same part number, but it was manufactured. This one says September of 23. And this one says October of 23. So look at your push rod cup there. Now, those are differences in depth, which will give you a difference in push rod length. As well as you can see, our oil hole is perpendicular to the axle. And on this one, the oil hole is in line with the axle. Um, so that is new to me. Typically, this, this is how all the milling lifters I get look. So this is what I was looking for. I was, I was able to shop around to a few parts stores and actually find some. And I, and I want to compare that to you. Like This is just a factory GM lifter, like an LS7 style lifter. And this is what I like to use in performance applications. And you can see this thing is very, very, it, it has a, a gold clip. The push rod cup is the same. You can see the oil holes are both perpendicular to the um, roller. And if you look at the way the roller is secured on these two, I think it was a little bit different too. You can see, so... Do you see that? Now the width of the rollers look the same, but the really important thing is this push rod cup. Because if you use some of these and some of these, your push rods are gonna land in at different depths. And you as the engine assembler, no matter if the parts are new, used or whatever, you are responsible for making sure everything goes together fine and everything is good. So that's why you always inspect your parts and I will continue to use milling parts unless I hear something otherwise about they've changed, like where they make, about the way they are permanently designed. Yes, you can see they are made in Mexico, but these I haven't had a problem with. These are, these LS7s are probably made in Mexico too for GM, because somebody aftermarket makes these for GM and they look just like the melons. So um, we will see. So. Just remember, always double check and inspect your parts because you want to make sure everything works together and is correct. Don't just assume because it's new and, and I took it out of the box and everything's fine. Never make assumptions. Always check and verify. White one auto. Out.